everybody, this is Lord Drago here, and I am here for another video on the Redstoner server. Um, as promised in the last episode, uh, I will be featuring or doing a showcase slash brief explanation on this thing up here. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully uh, some of you guys have been looking forward to this. Um, I have been looking forward to work recording this video, but I've been a bit too busy this week until now to record it. Um, so here I am now to do this special showcase. Uh, basically, what I have here is something very special and very dear to me in my heart because it is uh, one of the most complicated and probably the largest uh, redstone build I have ever done. Um, and... Even though when broken down, it's pretty basic uh, binary and logical principles, um, it's still very cool. It's very large scale, and uh, yeah, took a lot of work to get it working as I needed it to. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started here uh, looking into it. So basically, what I do like to call this, as I have not found a very good name for it besides this, um, is I have called this my... Uh, Basic, oh, I'm gonna sick. My serial letter processor slash decoder. So basically, uh, this part that you see here is a basic display. The cyan and yellow circuits make up what you guys will recognize as a very basic display. Um, the yellow circuits, each of these yellow circuits, uh, when activated, displays one of the 26 different letters in our alphabet and each of these cyan wires is uh basically is one pixel um so when powered it will uh cause the pixel that it corresponds to to be activated but anyways that's uh something that i like i don't know where i'm going with my thoughts here but anyways um so that's what you guys normally recognize as a normal display but what make what makes this thing special is that the input from this panel which would normally just be up by these yellow circuits um inputs into the processor or yeah the letter processor across a single wire here it goes there's a single wire between this panel and the processor um or yeah all of this here uh so basically how this works is in my last video I showed um, my serial transmission uh, encoder and decoder um, which if you guys want to see that you can go to the end of my last video um, but basically yeah a uh, summarization of how it works is it encodes binary um, into a string of pulses, one and two tick pulses, which it then decodes on the other side. And because it's encoded into pulses, that means it can all be sent across a single wire. It is infinitely expandable. I can do as much binary information across it as I wanted. But anyways, um, how I basically have uh, this set up is I have it set up where each of these red, uh, each of these vertical lines, I guess you could say, uh, relative to us anyway, vertical, um, is one letter. And basically what each of these do is for each letter, then it turns, uh, it creates a binary uh, sequence, a five bit binary sequence um, for each letter when you activate a certain letter. So as you can see here, um, because of these torches, for every um, torch above a line. Okay, I'm terrible at explaining this. Um, anyways, when you turn on a line, it makes a certain binary pattern in that line. So A is uh, 11000, uh, because on is 1 and off is 0. Uh, B is 11010, yeah, and etc. Uh, like that and so anyway it takes uh, creates that binary pattern inputs it into this uh, yeah the encoder for the serial the serial encoder which then encodes it into a string of pulses to be sent across a single wire which this wire by the way could be as long as you wanted as long as um, the input and the word processor weren't so far away from each other that they couldn't both be loaded at the same time 
in which case they would not work. But anyway, it sends it across that single wire, which then runs into this green, uh, green component here, which is a binary decoder. And how this works basically is it just uh, uses a sequence of bits to to um, separate each uh, binary pattern into its own possible uh, output, 32 possible outputs for a 5-bit binary sequence. And um, yeah, then it takes each of those outputs and turns it into its own yellow circuit, or uh, runs it into a yellow circuit. Well, not each of the 32, there are a few left over, as you can see over here, that aren't hooked up. But um, 26 of them, anyways. And so, yeah, then it takes that and works as a normal word processor from there, or letter processor, or whatever you want to call it, a display. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show it in action now for those of you who have stuck around to see this. Um, let's say I want to choose, let's say I want to display R for Redstoner. Um, so I flip that lever on. I press the button. Oops. Oh, I'm great at typing, as you can see. There we go. So yeah, it erases the previous letter and sends all the information across the wire. It then decodes it and displays it as whichever letter I sent across. So, uh, you can do the same with any of 26 letters. If I wanted to do Q, or actually I think that's O. Yeah, it's O. Um, I can do O here. Press the button. Did a, do a bit better typing than last time. It'll erase the letter that's currently being displayed. Send the information across. And now it will display the letter O. Because that's the letter I selected. Anyways, uh, pretty simple concepts when broken down. Uh, simple binary principles and serial. Uh, some... Uh, this thing is probably the most complicated thing as far as uh, actually being complicated in the whole thing. Most of the rest of it just looks complicated because of how large it is. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this showcase video. Uh, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to me if you enjoyed. But don't subscribe if you didn't enjoy it because... Actually, yeah, subscribe if you, even if you didn't enjoy it. Just subscribe no matter what. Sounds like a good sounds like a good idea to me, yeah. Yeah, you do. Good. Okay. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.